Welcome to Riverbend Talent on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Another Riverbend Talent on the Big Z. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Voris, uh, Mr. <sighs> Donut Van Voris. Morrison Van, Van Morrison Van Halen. Matt Van Morrison and those wild nights. What we do know is the Sea Shanty Sing Along is underway down at Morrison's Irish Pub until 9 o'clock. Uh, let's Absolutely. see, what else is underway? Kevin Gruen up at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville until 9 o'clock. The scruffy looking nerf herder underway at Big Daddy's <laughs> in Edwardsville until 9 o'clock. Mo Pleasure underway until 9 o'clock at Patrick's in Granite City. Uh, Danny Callagher started at 5 o'clock, going to 8 o'clock at Prairie Inn and Dorsey. They got the Experience Live Music Row already underway down there in Belle Belle. And uh, more stuff going on later tonight, like Silver Material doing a uh, St. Louis gig over at the Sinkhole. We love our original at band. At the Stinkhole? Yeah. All right. And Silver Material. Love the Stinkhole. I really love Silver, silver Material. Yeah, those those, they're, those young kids got it together, man. They do. Scott Marlin going to be underway at 7 o'clock at Pavia's Place in Granite City until 10. Uh, Strings and Keys down at Deutz Village Inn and Pontoon Beach until 11, starting at 7 o'clock. Insider start at 7 at Fast Eddie's in Alton. And uh, open mic later tonight at Raging Cajun. And then the trivia night down there at uh, the conservatory with a uh, new band, Hellbender. <laughs> All right. And I think Mila Duffy's in that band and then is going to play an acoustic set after that. And that starts at 9 o'clock and goes till midnight. All right, man. That's quite a Thursday night in our little Riverbend community. Yeah, well, that's the so, good news. And we got more good news. We got Good news and good news. We got Toxic. Toxic Johnny in the studio. Uh, uh, returning to the studio. It's a happy Toxic. It, it is a happy. It's, it's, it's a good Toxic, man. It's just like, it's right there, man. Show him the sticker uh, in the camera. Uh, we have the Toxic Johnny stickers. I love the you logo. You can wear them as pasties if you wish. You <laughs> it's Mr. Versatile. Yuck for everyone who remembers. It could be a coaster. <laughs> <laughs> this works on many levels. For everyone who remembers Mr. Yuck. <laughs> it looks Mr. just Yuck. like that, except he's smiling and he has a. It looks like a toothpick, probably. Yeah. I'm, like, nah, I'm, 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 I'm assuming it just hasn't been lit yet, is what I'm assuming. <laughs> kind of like that thing Sweet Meat had in his mouth. Uh, uh, All right, we can say it. Enough. We can say it. It's legal. It's legal, man. Uh, so, returning to the studio. Mr. Jimmy G. Hey, what's up? What is happening? How you been living? Good, man. I haven't seen you for a minute. Yeah. But I but but we talk about you all the time because you're busy. You're you're <laughs> always doing stuff, yeah, man. I try to be. And uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get into all the crazy stuff you're into, uh, including helping a lot of kids around here with music. Lots of mine. I call yeah. them kids. I they're probably grown and have children of their own. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's some kids now. Yeah. For, 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 well, yep. I, I've seen you doing it, so yep. uh, we'll, we'll get into that. But let's introduce the rest of the band. Way farthest away from me. Hello, down there. We've got Justin. Uh, Justin Brooks? Yep. Uh, lean on into that microphone so we can hear you. So we can hear you real good. I want to hear your sultry voice. Say hello, Justin. Hello, Justin. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you are the bass player of Toxic Johnny. Yes, I am. Original member? Yep. Founding member? I guess Founding so. father? Nah, it's yes. Just, it's just go with it. Yes. <laughs> just go with it, man. Just go with it. <laughs> Uh, next to you, uh, well, uh, welcome to the show, uh, Mr. Justin. Hello, thank you. Next to Justin, we've got Dave Peck. What's happening, Dave? Uh, everything's good, man. And listen to that voice. See, there's the singer. You can tell. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything's yeah, good, up? man. I'm going to sing you a song. It's going to make you so sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or make you really horny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, Mr. Dave Peck, you were the vocalist. Of yes. Toxic Johnny, original, original. Oh, but oh, we got all vocalists here. Well, I I could only assume it's like the Beatles over here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, they don't sound like them when they talk, but when they sing, it's just like you know, <laughs> Lennon McCartney. All. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and the late comer didn't even get to say hi to this guy. He's like, I'm gonna show up as soon as the show starts. <laughs> we, we've got uh, Brad Murphy. Yes, sir. Uh, you're going you're gonna to have to lean way in there. Yeah. Hello. 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 Oh, there it is. There we go. Uh, and you are the percussionist? Yeah, percussionist, yes. drummer, and, and whatever you want to call And least it. punctual in the band. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like animal. Ah. 
<laughs> also a vocalist? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that drummers that sing. Yep. You know, there's great ones like Phil. Yeah, or nice. That's almost messed that up. There's great ones like Levon Helms. You know. And there's others like Phil Collins. Anyway, <laughs> I almost did that joke backwards, and it would have hurt me. I wouldn't have even slept tonight if I said something bad about Levon Elms. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, by the way, if they ever make like a, a movie about Phil Collins, let, let's just admit Kevin Spacey should play him. Let's just all agree. <laughs> right? yeah. It seems like a good match. I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe I pregame just a bit much. Uh, let's keep it on the track. Well, we're talking to Toxic Johnny here on this radio show, and we're not in my basement hanging out. Just feels that way. Uh, all right, so you guys are Toxic Johnny now. Now, Jimmy, we talked about Toxic Johnny a little bit mm-hmm. on the phone the other day. Yep. Uh, we've actually been mentioning the name for a long time, and I did not realize it was you. Yeah, yeah. Because... I don't know you as Toxic Johnny. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. <laughs> uh, when I heard, as soon as I heard it was you, I'm like, well, we mention that name all the time. We've got to get him in here. Awesome. Uh, how long has the band been going on? It'll be three years, start in January. So Three years yep. now. See, it's way too long. It's been way too long. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We, we should haven't have. had no fights either. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, well, we, you we you got to say that closer to the mic. <laughs> yeah. And we haven't had no fights either. <laughs> nice. We went to North Dakota, 18-hour drive, yeah. and back. And twice. within yep. twice, yeah, we've done it twice. Oh, we yeah. did it twice. Uh, he don't know. <laughs> He's I'm, game longer than me. He don't know. Yeah. He don't remember. He didn't remember what I time to be out half, halfway through. You know, we there yet? Okay. <laughs> yeah. but, All right. So I, I feel as though a gauntlet has been thrown down here because he's way braggadocious. He's like, we haven't had no fights yet. We've started a lot of band fights on this. I don't know this. <laughs> we've had band meetings break out in the middle of the show. We've had band fights. We've... I had sex with Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what? Uh, look, you know, look, it, he knows weird, Joe. Weird things happen to all of us. It's fine. Man. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was in Vegas, got my nicest suit, went down to the bar hoping a prostitute might hit on me, uh-huh. and, and finally an old gray-haired man blew in my ear. <laughs> and he said, room 418, if you're looking for a good time. And that man was Mike Pence. And I went upstairs <laughs> with Mike Pence and all. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Pence has said those words. Maybe not in that order, but he said those words. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> he said all the words. All right. What are we doing here? We're talking to Toxic Johnny. That's right. Ah, so let's get to we, we For those of you who don't know Jimmy G, we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about Jimmy G here. Uh, you, I, I brought up that you help a lot of kids. It's because you give lessons. It's, yeah. it's a big portion of that. You give lessons yep. at Swing City. At Swing City still. Yep. And sure. so uh, it's the Swing City in Edwardsville or both of them? Just in Edwardsville. Just in Edwardsville. Yep. As the Collinsville one's still open. Though. That's, yes. That's the original yep. Swing City. That's right? the yeah. original yeah. mothership. The mothership. <laughs> yep. Oh, the mothership is land of George Clinton fire up some <laughs> flashlight. I don't know. Anyway. All right. So uh, you give lessons. Uh, not, not only does he give lessons to the kids, he teaches middle-aged women too how to fake their way through songs on bass guitar <laughs> yep, yep, exactly exactly right so so if, if, if you've ever thought i really want to play an instrument but i don't have a clue there's a guy who can get you started mm-hmm. uh, no matter where you're at in life so, uh the uh, this is what i want to say though I, I brought that up because that's the obvious way that you help kids with music right that's your job yep Yep. Uh, I when I first met you was uh, at the old bank, the vault, right? And you were working with Hayes Bond. You had told me yep. about the band yep. Hayes Bond. You Hayes said, Bond. "Oh, you yep. got to check these guys out." So I went up to check them out, and you had four bands playing. It was five bucks to get in, and you supplied the PA and worked the door. Yep. All, each band got a dollar, and you got a dollar. And I bet you donated your dollars back to the <laughs> band would be my guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and, and I just got to say thank you, because people who are dedicated yep. to helping music like that yep. is what keeps it going. It, yep. It's it's not yep. done by the almighty dollar. Only, only the worst of the worst music is <laughs> perpetuated that way, yeah. usually. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 Anyway, uh, no, it's seriously, it's people with a love of music like mm-hmm. that and, and the love right. of it all. So uh, thank you not only to you, but your, your wife who was with you, yep. taking money at the yep. door, Take, yep. working it. Yep. Yep. <sighs> wow. You know, it's nice when they follow your dreams, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was always good about that, you know. Uh, so so let's, uh, that you know, that that's Jimmy G. He's a uh, guitarist yep. and, and guitarist. vocalist yep. and, and, vocalist. And, yep. and all-around good guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember... Uh, 
when you guys started playing, because we follow everything, I started seeing Toxic Johnny, and then all of a sudden I started seeing hosting open mics, and I'm like, that's a cool way to go. And then somebody came in and said, Oh, we were uh, we were doing an open mic with uh, Jimmy G. Who's that guy? What's his name? They started doing that, right? And they're like Jimmy, the guitar player, and we were both like Jimmy G. <laughs> and it all clicked like open mic, Jimmy G. Toxic Johnny helping people out. Yep, get their start. And man, it's simple rock yeah. and roll math. <laughs> Toxic Johnny. Plus open mic equals Jimmy G. Right. Well, I don't know. you're simple right. Simple math. That, that was a simple math because when we because we we started you know I we we were doing like the open mic and they would come out you know Dave comes out to a lot of the open mics Justin came out to almost everyone and then there was it was in October I know the dates and it was October of, of a year and I was like you know what if we got together and we were just the the house band and I said you know we already know a lot of songs if we learn a few more. You know, if you get 50 songs, then all of a sudden you can say, hey, we'll go out and play a couple of gigs. You did, know, did you also say we should learn some acoustics because Brad's always going to be late? And so we're not uh, going to have drums the first no, couple no, songs. No, <laughs> no we, we uh, just wondered if that was suggested. No, that was never yeah. suggested. But, but you know, it was funny because. Well, just to get the hell set up every day. Yeah. Oh, I walk in and I'm like, oh, good to go. Rock star. And then, uh, oh, rock star. It was kind of funny, though, because no. once we did that, then th- then in November, we. We were like we we were we were that we were that house band. We played like four songs. Then then we would bring up people, and it's like you said. I bring you know like when we were doing the back bar, it could only be adults. So it was just all my adult students that had never played, never experienced that live feel. You know, yeah. that's who would start coming, and they would they you know they get that bug. Now yeah. I tell people you know that first time you know not gonna be your best time, but I guarantee you, you'll get the bug. You'll say like, well, is we that why been. my stool's been so loose? Yeah, you got the bug. You got the bug. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I keep, you know, no, no, you, you're correct. You get bit by, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, the way I hooked uh, uh, my wife on playing bass. I said, "Look, it's not hard," and I picked a simple three chord song. Right, uh, Bob Dylan's "Isis." It's the chorus and verse are the same, and it goes on for 25 verses, man. Right. So exactly. if you learn this one three chord pattern, we can play for 20 minutes before we got to start the song over. <laughs> you know? so, and, and you get hooked on, right, on the groove real right, quick, right. you know. And so it's funny, though, then after that, then into December, then somebody said, why don't we start rehearsing? Why don't we all get together <laughs> and rehearse this stuff? Just and then that's off. when the magic, I'm going to tell you right now, that's when the magic started. Because yeah. we would get down, and I played, you know me, I played in bands, I've traveled the country, I've done all of that. This is the best band I've ever played in. Nice. nice. Straight okay. up. Uh-oh. Straight up. Wow. And the thing was, because when we got into rehearsals, nobody was worried about, you know, going to get their next smoke. I need to bring my 12 pack in. It was like, boom, we sat down and it was machine like. I mean, it was just turn out mis- songs. And then then we were like, oh, let's try some harmony. Tried harmony, you know, and just things kept clicking, you know. And then I'm like, well, this is pretty cool. And then we got into that January and we really didn't have anything on the books. But then February there was a few things that all of a sudden we said, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. Uh, we'll do this little benefit for somebody, you know, and we played with my kid band that merge five that I was selling oh, yeah, right. the high school band. And so we played a little thing there. And then all of a sudden, you know, the worth fight guy said, no, we don't want to do that. It was down at Patrick's. And I said, well, we'll go and we'll go and play. Oh, I do remember you that. Know? I do so remember we that go, now. that was our first gig. That was, Un- that was unexpected. Yeah. We go and next, you know, the girl yeah. that was booked said, Hey, I want to book some more dates. We're like, okay. And then just at that point, and then all of a sudden we went to March, same kind of thing. We got a, did a couple benefits. Then we were starting to do another open mic at um, <clears throat> it was called TJ's in uh, in Granite City, and that was pretty fun. And and really like the back bar TJ's, those are the people that really put kicked us off because nice. they would let us play up. You know, they would let the open mic happen, and he would then let us play like a Friday night. And at that point, it wasn't really about making the big bucks, but it was getting the act together. Sure. You know, and then it just, it just, and then we got into May and then we were playing the outdoor stuff and we went up to Holiday Shores and we just brought the house down. Nice. And it's, it has not been, you where, know, where, where were you in Holiday the, Shores? Uh, Wigglers the or? Lakeside Marina. Oh, like that. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And it was just, you know, I said, Hey, I got this new band, you know, and I said, we'll give it to you pretty cheap, you know, check. And, and everybody was buying. Everybody's like, yeah, we want to try that out. You know, and it was like, cause what, you know, whereas opposed to other bands where it was more like. The alternative in '90s, where it was a little more fixed here, the window on Toxic Johnny is so much bigger. 
Yeah. yeah. So it's from ACDC, Motley Crue, Poison, Guns N' Roses, then your heavy, you know, your Rage Against the Machine. So, I mean, we just cover all of that stuff. Right. And that was just because of all the different pools we could take from, you know. And it's funny, as we learn songs, we learn songs from Merge Five's pool, you know, Worth Fight's pool, you know. And we just kind of grab all that stuff, and it's not hard to put together, you know. And so... Right. You uh, already know the songs. That's, and that was it. We built the, you know, we built the song list up to about, you know, right now we're carrying about 120 to 125 songs. Pretty much can play everything on the set list at any time. So we'll take the set list. We'll say, hey, here's our list. What would you like to hear? And just try to play them on the, you know, as people request. I always like doing that because then the list is never yeah. the same. It's never predictable. It's right. also good to have more songs than you can play in one night, so it's not the same show every night. Exactly, yeah. and that's what we try to do. Yeah, you know, that's it was one of our biggest things was to to not do that. You know, to be a little bit more, and you know, and we're you know, it's like it's like not watching the same movie over and over again. Get a little closer there. It's like you know watching the same movie over and over again. If you already know what's going to be coming, you're yeah. not going to go there Friday and Saturday. And if we have a three night gig and we have three nights Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we have a different set list quote quote of some sort then more at the people you know that, right. if they come for one and or both nights or and you might get a different crowd too you know with all those three nights and and, and, and that, that is that's for sure if you're especially a, a, a regional type band you know you're just doing a few uh, uh, cities maybe or doing a little mm -hmm. traveling uh, I've had a lot of friends who they'll start playing every weekend in the same area and it's like after that it's, it's been that way for a few months people are like oh you want to go see them well they're playing next weekend we saw them last mm -hmm. weekend right. Right. and if it's the same show uh, you know it, it could be the same show if you're a jazz guy and yeah. you're changing it every time. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we also so <laughs> uh, branched out even even with this band, just branched out, you know, as far as like ninety miles this way, ninety miles that way, hundred miles this way, hundred miles that right. way. You know, yep. so we've already kind of keeping did it, that. Keeping you know. it fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like Subway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fresh. And <laughs> everywhere we go, they're like, damn, no, where are you guys from? You know, yep. and I'm just like, yep. We're from this area down here. You know, by St. <laughs> Louis, but not in Missouri, you know. Yeah. Right on. So, so uh, let's let's meet some more yep. fellas in the band. Uh, well, we we did we we, we talked to uh, did we talked to I, I'm so lost on where we are now. Uh, we talked to Justin, right? Yep. We met Justin. We met Dave. And then we met Brad here, right? Mm -hmm. Mr. Brad, you're uh, uh, you're the the drummer. So, okay, I I got so confused. Yeah, on where we were. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm always confused. No, I. When you said the spinning. When you said you didn't know where you were right now, I'm like, do you ever? Is what I was thinking. <laughs> you know, no, no. Okay, so Justin. Yes. Uh, I think Brad mentioned this a little bit, and uh, it looked like you wanted to say something. Do you set everything up? Or are you the sound guy too? Because he had said something about everything set up, I just come in and play. It might have been a joke, but I, yeah. I just seen maybe that uh, maybe you, know, you did do that. Sometimes I carry around some equipment because you know it's just a common courtesy and all that. Because which is very much appreciated, very right. very much. And, right. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I guess being a bassist, I got a better sense of timing. I, I don't know. Okay. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> three watches. <laughs> He was. I was blown away by the punctuality. <laughs> he was the first one here. He was waiting. He was here before I was here. I knew. Yep. I could tell he had something to say, but he didn't get a chance to say that earlier. Yeah, that, that's the basis part of me. You know, yeah, as soon as I'm yeah. starting to say something, it's like, shush. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, man. Do you guys have a sound guy, or do you guys run your own we sound? We run our own stuff. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. kind of a team effort. Yeah, it really is. I mean, that 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 that's mostly, what makes it work. You know, mostly me and Jimmy do the PA, and then yeah. uh, Justin will help Brad with the drums. Right. You know, yeah. the it's whatever takes the longest to set up. Yep. Yeah. So yep. we kind of, but Every, you know, everyone pitches in and does the part yep. that they yeah, know that's the best. Exactly. That, yeah. And that's the whole thing. I mean, that's what makes it nice. We all we all help out. We all load in. All take out. And you know, and the thing is, after the gig, we will literally sit at a table and have a pizza and just sit there and talk. Yeah. And that's that's unusual, man. I mean, it's, yeah. that's unusual when you can have that connection, and you go like, man, I can still t I can still tolerate these guys. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the end of the night. Yeah, I, the I'm not night. like, oh, good riddance. Yeah, I'm out of here. See ya. Yeah. You know. And, and I said good day, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. You know, <laughs> from me. <laughs> you know, and it, that's that was like 
you know, it's like that kind of stuff. You know, you don't think that's a big deal, but you know, it's like it's huge. No, it is. It's I, huge. You I, know? I have said it to uh, a lot of people that that are in music, and and maybe it's their first. You know, you you're, you when you're in your first band and, and it breaks up, it's like breaking up with your first girlfriend. Yeah. You, yeah. you think, oh, I just got to have that again. Like mm-hmm. I, I got to hurry up and get some more of that right, action. Right. But really, it's about getting the right people, man. Because any. Like the the talent and the ability to play that this sort of thing. I mean, talent maybe isn't learned so much, but the ability to play, you you willing to put the time and effort in, you can do it. That's it. But it, but you want to, a band is a group of friends hanging out making music. That's it. And if you're not friends and hanging out and chit chatting and and talking, it usually becomes a very stale. And and we've talked about that that. We've had people in here that, you know, when you're in a band sometimes, you don't talk. You, you could be in a band with someone for five years and you don't really get to know them because yeah. all no, you do is right. play music. That's you it. walk in, you're like, yep. okay, I got to go, man. It's yep. late. I got to yep. work tomorrow. Yep. Kinko's opens at six yep. or whatever. Yeah, no, that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah, yeah especially yeah. when you live two hours apart. Yeah. yeah. You know, stuff like that because a lot <laughs> yeah, of people no, do yeah. travel a long yeah. way to practice. I mean, you look at both sides of it. Uh, there are bands that have existed for a long time that never really get to know each other as as friends mm-hmm. but you know so it goes both ways mm-hmm. and uh but the best way is uh when everybody's hanging out and, and yeah. having a good time well when it clicks yeah know, it's the whole yeah you know. but you know a lot of people like that toured with rush was like those guys like go back to their hotel room and practice yeah right uh, so right. you know and, and they yeah. didn't really hang out with anybody but it didn't hurt them one bit yeah. either no, yeah. no, it didn't. Yeah, <laughs> no, not at all. yeah. That, and there are, there are guys who have that reputation. Uh, uh, Warren Haynes, when I met him, people were saying that about him. Where it's like, oh, yeah, the guy can play three gigs in a day, and all he wants to do is go home and practice and mm-hmm. figure out what he did wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I watched all three shows. You did nothing wrong, mm-hmm. sir. Yeah, you were spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. So uh, uh, Toxic, Johnny, uh, you got you, you were listening to all the, the bands that you cover, and, and I know you've been uh, playing music for... Uh, since you were knee high to a grasshopper, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> him and his buddies used to play get the can before practice. <laughs> each other <laughs> we're out of control. Uh, <laughs> so uh, one thing I noticed about you guys weren't you doing the uh, open mic down there at the uh, new venue in uh, Collinsville? Yep. Uh, yep. Old Herald. Old Herald. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And yep. it was a now, newspaper. Now that was a really cool deal because then we were able to bring the kids in. Right. And there's nothing that hooks a kid. When they could play on a huge stage, yeah. huge sound, huge, huge everything. And we did that with, a, and like this year it was wild because we might have kicked off maybe a half dozen kids that yeah. had never played and then showed up every time we played. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know? Well, and they got the bug. That's exactly yeah. it. And, I mean, when, and when he says kids, it's younger than high school. I mean, what? Yeah. What, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, Sixth grade, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. You know, and I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Some of them are like, you're like, okay, you know, and they, they look like they belong. And that's, <laughs> um, man, you know, that's great. And you yeah. can see <laughs> that bug hit them. Yeah. You yeah. can see that bug hit them in their eye, too. Yeah. 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 I want more of that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one big difference I've seen uh, with YouTube is like you're seeing kids younger and younger that just shred. Oh, yeah. you do. You know what I mean? Yep. And, and oh, it's you because do. you got every opportunity to learn with YouTube. I mean, you can learn from the guy who played the mm-hmm. song originally. Mm-hmm. And uh, these kids tap right into it at a young age. And I think you pick things up quicker when you're young like that, just like everything else yeah. in school yep. and everything else. Yep. And, uh, man, these young kids are just blowing us away. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of the uh, age of information. Like you say, yep. all they have to do is plug in what they want to learn, and it's there. They're not sitting around waiting a whole month for Guitar Player Magazine to come out and go, gonna say, well, I'm going to learn Sunshine yeah. Your Love and the Fat Man theme song. Yeah, <laughs> no, and that's exactly right. Or you had to sit there and grab your vinyl or something and try to figure out riffs. You yeah, know? And, right. and nowadays, like you said, I mean, it is a lot of, it is a lot easier, even teaching-wise. You know, you just go on there and... You know, if there's a lick you're trying to find, you know. Right, but However, in the end, you got to put in the reps, and those little kids are putting in the reps. Yep, they're well, eight years old. They're well, still playing a lot, and yep. that's really the key to it all. It is. It, and it and is I think reps. at that age, you might not realize as much that, you know, oh, I, I want to go hang out with some girls, or I want to go do these other things that are distractions away, and that's all they do is sit mm-hmm. there and practice and practice. And you can tell. I but, mean, yep. they're playing... They're playing the hardest songs in the world at eight years old. Mm-hmm. But yeah. here's the flip side to that whole YouTube thing. You know, suddenly, yeah, they can learn everything at the drop of a dime, but there's a lot more of them out there. 
Yeah. Suddenly the competition is is a hundred thousand instead of ten thousand. Yeah, been that you know. way since the internet started. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. like, I mean, I started the internet. Me and Al Gore way back. <laughs> <laughs> so I was a lot, kid, man. I was a in a band cards. called the Algorithms, <laughs> and he's like Algorithms. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Give yeah. a lot of credit to the parents too. I mean, the there parents are really. Oh yeah, Al Gore's no. parents were great. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no. You are correct. Go go ahead and finish yeah. that. Oh, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I would have said, Dad, I want to be in a rock band. Exactly. Bullshit. You, get, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> these yeah. parents are coming in. I mean, they're, you know, these, these kid bands that come in, their parents are the roadies. They've got sound guys. I mean, they, they pretty much just kind of walk in and play. And, uh, I mean, the parents are always there. They're always into it. And, you know, it's just a lot of credit to the parents. Yeah. It's funny. We have a saying, you know, we go, uh, what's Justin, what do we say? Rock isn't dead or... The future of rock or something is here. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> these kids are proof that the future of, of rock is alive. Yeah, right? that's yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it, it is because you're like, man, it's not dead. It, it'll be okay. It, it seemed like we went through a lull, and maybe it was just me being out of touch uh, with what was happening. But like when I was uh, in high school and, and college. Everybody was in a band, just about. I mean, there, there were bands everywhere, mm-hmm. yeah. and and then somewhere there, is. there is again. But it seemed like the there was a. It seemed Can like there was a the bit list? of a. It, it, it <laughs> yeah, seemed like there the was list. a bit of a lull where the only bands you saw were were people of our age and older, and and you didn't see young kids playing rock and roll. They were singing karaoke. They yeah. were playing Guitar Hero. Well, I think they it's were doing what we, like things. We learned when we started this. You kind of get in your own little circle. Yeah, it's true. You know what I mean? You play in the same venues, the same style of music, and that's the people you know. Once we started looking at it from the outside and mm-hmm. seeing what all the venues were doing, and we were like blown away. We're like, we had no idea there was this many places to play. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. And, and we heard it all the time. There's no place to play. There's no place. Yeah, well, you know, we pages of places to play. I'm yeah. sure there were places right. back then we just didn't hear about. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. and yep. especially for the original bands. I mean, because we had to set up our own shows and you know yep. do it that way, mm-hmm. uh, DIY. And uh, but looking back on it, I can still list about five or six original clubs from back then. If you wanted to drive, you could find. Yep. And. Yeah. Uh, over over on the landing, you had a you had a few, you know, over over on the St. Louis side. Yeah. And, and, uh, well, you'd learn from playing with the other bands. Like you'd go to yeah. Club Three Sixty Seven, uh, and then you'd right. find out where people in House Springs play, where people from you know different parts of St. Louis played, and then you go do trade out gigs with them. Yeah, you know? exactly. I was gonna say trade. Yep. Trade cities or whatever. Yeah, we'll open for you in your town, and you can open for us in our town. And that's when I loved MySpace, because on MySpace, you could search a specific area. In other Mm -hmm. words, Kansas City bands. Mm -hmm. And find all the Kansas City bands, and then start contacting them and trading out gigs. It was way easier with that. Of course, it didn't last. And, uh, but, you know... We all still had, have MySpace. We've all had our we've all had our tools, you know. But yeah. I, I think it really comes down to you know what I said. These kids are practicing. They are playing all the time. Yeah. And that's why they're. I mean, I'm not saying they're, you know, they're not playing just ACDC. They're playing like neoclassical, like you know, mm-hmm. jazz, yeah. just off the hook hard stuff to play that guys our age still can't play mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I think that comes from you know being young. And when you practice, it doesn't seem as cumbersome as the older you get and you have all these things to do besides practice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so that helps plus, like I said, you can learn from the artists who actually played the song. That's now. what I think is yeah. a huge, you know, yeah. is a huge part of it is, you know, and that's what I always tell them. I'm always like, you know, the bottom line is be able to play what you hear on the records. Yeah. And as Dave and mentioned that, too, how many of their parents have guitars before they even realize what a guitar is already sitting there. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. yep. And that's thanks to helping music, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They've been around for sixty years. So. Yeah, they have been supplying a lot of people with instruments here. And Mad Van Voorhis has probably taught a couple people. And he's insured instruments. I get all my guitars insured to Matt Van Voorhis. <laughs> Matt Van Voorhis with the why? I, 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 oh so you guys are going to be playing at my all-time favorite St. Louis venue, 
tomorrow night. Charlac Pub. Yes, we are. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's nice. a great place. Man, yeah, it's a those place. people listen. Yes, they yeah. do. They oh, know. And they're, 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 they come out to rock. Yeah. They know I'm getting up. goosebumps thinking about mm-hmm. it. I mean, because, like, seriously, the whole place is watching you. Yep. And, and you can't BS some people. Yeah, that's they, true. They, you can't. Yeah. You got to play it, man. You got to bring the A game. Yep. Or, because they, they don't, they know. You uh-huh. know. They see some top line. You wouldn't think, but there's some top line talent that comes through oh, yeah. there, man. I think everybody that's a St. Louis musician uh, that's known now has probably played Charlotte Pub mm-hmm. at one point. Uh, all yep. of yeah, all the big uh, uh-huh. uh, crew over there with El Monstero mm-hmm. guys and and uh, you know the Celebration Day all the the incestuous crew over there that make up like twenty bands between eight of them. Or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <That's right>. <laughs> yep, <laughs> they've all cut their teeth at Charlac, So on this side of the river, we got a uh, dairy. Garcia's Lonesome Blues down at the conservatory from 8.30 Saturday? to 11 on Friday. We're on talking Friday. Friday. Okay. Yeah. I, I, that, I'm that's just trying to night. keep it straight because I have no night. idea. Yeah, I know you don't have no idea. <laughs> that's for sure. Whiskey Dixon, 7.30 to 11.30 at Fast Eddie's in Alton on Friday. City Heat doing the VFW from 7 to 11. Soul Shine Groove doing Bakers and Hail from 7 to 10. Leadfoot doing the Junkyard in Wood River from 7 to 11. Matt Tall, 6 to 9 at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville. Money Shot down at Deutz Village Inn, both Friday and Saturday night, starting at 8.30. Comedy Night with uh, Max Price, Nicholas Kuvar, Emily Zell, and Ronald Mercado, Pig Pants. Rolando. Right. It's Rolando Mercado. I don't know how that got Ronald, but we, we've had him on the show before. Okay. Rolando. Five bucks down at Tegan's. <laughs> 8.30. There you go. And then the scruffy-looking nerf herder down at the Speakeasy in Grand City. Who's my nerf herder? All right. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, the Speakeasy in Grand City, 6 to 10 p.m. on Friday evening. We got Pole Toys at Patrick's uh, this Friday evening, starting at 9 p.m. Uh, for sale, $199. $199,000. $199,000. $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199, $199,
eight thirty. Man. Yeah. So if you want to get to Charlax by eight thirty, let's do the math, people. You're gonna have to leave whenever your Google tells you to. And math is so easy these days. Word problems. <laughs> Let's see. So you guys uh, got quite a few gigs coming up. You're doing uh, Willie's Pub on the 15th of December in Vandalia. Mm -hmm. Vandalia, that's a road gig. Yep. A little bit. Mm -hmm. About an hour. About yeah. an hour. Yeah. Yep. And then Wigglers on the 16th at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. in Edwardsville. Mm -hmm. Arizona Joe's, where's that on the 30th? Centralia. That's in Arizona, bro. <laughs> That's what I, well, I kind of figured, but you, know, you just send everybody to Arizona and they didn't go to Centralia to see Toxic Jam. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they're going to go to Arizona and find, <laughs> I don't know, work in the orange fields. I'm not sure. <laughs> city on top of city on top of city. That's what they're going to find in Arizona. Rattlesnakes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so <laughs> and then uh, my all time favorite, one of them. New Year's Eve gig. Yes. I, oh. I prefer the uh, Thanksgiving Eve, but New Year's Eve would be second right. at the warehouse yes. in Alton, where you yeah. have to have a secret pass to get in. Yes, you do. Yep. Shoot the mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll, they'll check on the camera. If you look all right, you'll get in. If not, oh well. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> However... You gotta be ready to play till the sun comes up. That's exactly uh, until last, six in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. last year. We got out at what eight, six or yeah, it's yeah like six or seven, seven or something like that. Yeah, sun yeah. Up. <laughs> and we that got, was funny because they they were like, "Man, you guys are like the machine." We no, because none of us really we don't get hammered, drunk, or right. nothing. You know, we kind of know how to pace ourselves. So we were like a machine. You know, we were woof, we kept going. You know, and they're like, "Holy smokes!" You man. might have got through every song that night. Mm. Maybe. Pretty close. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I do 117. Yeah. <laughs> Missed it by three. <laughs> yeah. Just close. We got uh, smart. We started starting about, you know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning when everyone finally got there. Yeah. That's, you know, because that's, that's a place yeah. everybody right. goes when all the bars close. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, that's what happened. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. It, it uh, turned into a new year, and then all of a sudden it's like, all right, time to play. It's like, ugh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm going to tell you how to make it memorable, man. It's like two thirty, three o'clock. Here's more people. <laughs> yep. from right, yeah. Got to get on oh, the mic. Yeah. 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 But at like, you know, 2.33 in the morning, it's like you start seeing from where the other bars are already left out in here. It's like another 20, yep. 30 people. It's just like, here, here, here we go. Down. You know. Hey, so here, here's how you make this year real memorable. Get you a couple toaster ovens and some waffles, and you serve breakfast at sunrise. Oh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> you just hand out eggos <laughs> to everybody. Here's an eggo for you, an eggo for you, and an eggo for you. We're like a mobile, mobile Disney. We'll <laughs> do pancakes <laughs> with the logo. Yes. yes. Uh, right. Here, go have your pancake, 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 but, but a roll. real toothpick. <laughs> there you go. A real toothpick. <laughs> yeah. You mean a joint. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just take it apart, sprinkle it on top of the uh, pancake, right, you know. Yeah. It's legal. Yeah, I would exactly. just smoke it right through the pancake. It's hard to <laughs> believe. That's the best way. Just like my grandpa taught me. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, you guys are already scheduled like a, a couple times. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Would you like a smoke in a pancake? A <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no peas in you. <laughs> I noticed you guys already got a couple gigs in January, so you're ready to book for 2024, right? If somebody's looking for a band. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's, it's really weird because there's the booking this year is erratic. I mean, we know some clubs that have already booked their whole summers. Yeah, already now. We're not even out of the holidays. Right. And it's just like, oh, man. So I've been kind of following up here once in a while and saying, hey, man, have you guys, oh, no, we're, we're not we're not going to start booking until after, you know, after the holiday. And we're like, okay, cool. I'm just like, because, man, who knows at this point? Because we, we know some places and they're like, oh, yeah, we got, we don't have any more, uh, we don't have anything open. We're, we're booked for the summer. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, are those bands all going to be together? Right. <laughs> you know, yeah, at that yeah, point? Just all your period. <laughs> we'll just stick around and clean up the scraps, I guess. Right. At this point, you know. uh, Another lesson from Jimmy G, youngins. 
Yeah. <laughs> we listen in. It's like, yeah, you know, sometimes you run into this problem when you're when you're booking your own gigs because you know these bands do all that. They book their own gigs, they run their own sound, and uh, they and, pay for their own gas, they pay for their own food, and uh, you know. And so this is where the homework comes in. You got to start finding out who the oldest bands are. One of them's gonna kick the bucket by summer for sure. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Make you sure know. we call Grafton Oyster Bar yep. back because yep. they will not make it to you. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, I, I, I always I always get so happy when I see like uh, in the paper like an 80 year old marries a 70 year old and it's like that's not gonna last long you know <laughs> but but I'm glad for him yeah you know, if I find a little last little bit of happiness uh, I don't know what's going on here I'm trying to keep the wheels on the track man it's just not working <sighs> I just wish you'd stop whispering I have headphones on and it's very <laughs> annoying here. Did you whisper in my ear. My name is Mike Pence. I'm in no. room 418. I'm not going there. Remember, I'm the straight guy. You're the... <laughs> yeah, I'm here to curve out the streets and straighten out the curves. <laughs> I just read announcements. <laughs> I just read... Toxic John, you're so <laughs> smart because you can read. All right, so, so so tell us a little bit more about the future of Toxic Johnny. What what are you guys uh, Gaze you guys into gonna the do? Future. Yeah, you guys are gonna do some more of these road road trips. That yeah. You, uh, yeah, like I know you've got connections up in the uh, the northeast. Yeah, well, it's up in the Dakotas. Yeah, <laughs> up up in the north area. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, and 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 uh, down in Colorado too, right? I, I uh, didn't you get the Hayes Bond guys some gigs? Yeah, there? yeah. So yeah, you're yeah. gonna try and get this band. Uh, travel on that same circuit? Maybe, yeah. maybe. You know, what we do is, you know, since we all have jobs and we all have responsibilities, but what we'll do is we'll say, hey, let's do a weekend, you know, and just set up one and, you know, make it part of the vacation plans or whatever. Right. And then go do it, you know. And it's, a, like I said, we've done the trip a couple times now, and it's been, I mean, it's effortless. It's not, you know, it takes, it, it's some, like going up to North Dakota is long, but if you got the right people, it's not terrible. Yeah. You know, and that's... You know, it's not as truth. Right. It, it it's it's uh, a lot more time in the on the road than at the bars. Yeah. Or at the clubs yeah. or whatever yeah. it is you're playing. Yeah. So if the road trip itself is annoying, the gig isn't worth it. Yep. Uh, you yep. know, and, and I can see in Dave's eyes over there, he's like, "You're telling me <laughs> <laughs> I'm right next to Justin all week." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's handsy. <laughs> 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 leave it be. Just leave it be. Yeah. No, I was thinking about the last or the, the, the first time we went up to Minot, uh, somebody drove off, almost left Brad at the side of the road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's because he was, he was late Someone. getting back to the car. You, you know, we were like, hey, let's all use the toilet. I can't remember who it was. Okay, I just remember Justin caught it. Uh, where's Brad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Door's still open. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're rolling, uh, man. You know what? We're a mile down the road. Just leave him. We'll, we'll pick up another drummer in Minot. <laughs> just comes into in the town riding on a combine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes Brad. Yeah. Maybe that'll teach him to not be late getting back in the job, man. You know? All strolling in like a rock or my drum set up. I'm ready to play. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I get it. You're the eye candy of the band, you know? So, you know. So you guys only got the Thanks. one gig then Thanks. this weekend, huh? Friday. Yeah. Or do you remember? Yeah. yeah. You do remember. <laughs> That's yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. And then next week we have the two. Yeah. 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 And I was talking about January. That's uh, Jacksonville at Ambet's on the twentieth. You had listed, and then uh, Patty McDee's down in Granite City uh, yeah. in January. So. Wow. Yeah. Change some well, stuff up, but well, uh, I'm just yeah. going by what the. Patty McDee's is, uh, they're under renovation okay. right now. Okay. So, uh. I've seen some bands play down there recently. Not, like, all the time, but mm -hmm. on special occasions. Yeah. yeah. Thanksgiving yeah. Eve, you know, the important ones. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it was just on your guys' Facebook page, which is, I guess, the best way to find you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty yep. much. Yep. Toxic Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Were you the and only Facebook, one? On Facebook. I think we're the only one still. Okay. Yeah, we lucked out when we named the band and and then after the fact did a Google search on it. Oh, we're the we're the only ones that pop up. Nice. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, there is a testies Jimmy. 
It's a totally different thing. It's a not testing. a band. <laughs> <laughs> they got a logo that's real similar, but it's it's one circle and two. Uh, anyway, uh, it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> so what's going on, on on Saturday night in the area? What do we have happening? Uh, okay. We've got live music at Morrison's Irish Pub, but we don't know who. So. Yeah, we uh, we got right. the uh, pianos down at Raging Cajun. Then uh, Nate Sickmar will fire it up at 2 o'clock, go to 6, and then Whiskey Dixon at 7.30 at Past Eddie's in Alton on Saturday. City Heat out to Bakers and Hale from 7 to 11 in Godfrey. Super Jam in town doing the Pump House in Wood River. All right. That cover band's been around for a long time. Yes, it is. Flip the Frog. They are uh, getting to where they've been around for a while now uh, with the new guy, Darren LaMare. Right? 8 o'clock yeah. at the uh, refinery bar in Wood River going to midnight. All the frog flippers get on down to the refinery Saturday. <laughs> Jim and Carl Mager. Six to nine at George's local brew in Jersey. Not related. <laughs> that I don't know. Uh, How about the track band? You know that? Three, uh, three sure. to seven at Grafton Winery on Saturday. Dan Sprode at Aries from one to five. And then Money Shot back down at Doyd's Village Inn. Flip side. They've been around a while. Nine o'clock at Patrick's in Granite City. And uh, your friend's worth the fight. They're playing on Saturday. Nine o'clock at... Uh, Tegan's in Grand City. You said you knew that you, you guys actually stole some of their set. I heard you say it earlier. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. I already know these songs. You guys learn them. That's right. <laughs> I've done these songs many times. Yeah, yeah. You know some of those guys, Jimmy? Yeah. 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 How, how, uh, how long was you with those guys? A couple of years, at least? Oh, six years. Six yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. It, was long, it was a long, it was a long haul. Yeah. yeah, it was. There you go. Yeah, yeah. All right, what else we got? Uh, Drew Schaefer at the uh, Corner Tavern in uh, Edwardsville, which is Caddy Corner from the Wildy. Scott and Michelle, 6 to 9 of Big Daddies in Edwardsville. The uh, Silver Creek Bluegrass album release nice. is going to be at 9.30. That is a different time than normal Stagger In Again shows. It's an album release. Right. So. Hopefully going it's to a 12... full release. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite kind of release. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know it is. 12.30 a.m., is what they plan to go to. <laughs> At the Stag Eye. Lanny and Julie at Lyle's Tavern in Maryville from 7 to 10. And Butch Moore is going to team up with uh, Paul Niehaus IV. Oh, nice. Out at uh, the cabin at Judy Creek from 7 to 10 on Saturday. The Grand Band up at the uh, infamous Canton Inn in Hillsboro, 6.30. And, uh, there you go, Ruby Lee. Yeah, I've been following nice. Ruby Lee. Yeah. And uh, she Me too, in, and she's quick, man. She like, is stay in, on her. <laughs> she is in the final nine on The Voice. Final nine. And oh. uh, her last performance is uh, one people had to vote on. Up till now, it was the judges, the judges deciding. Yeah. But uh, Ruby came out and did a, did a Reba McIntyre song, <laughs> which is her coach. Yeah. It's one of Reba's hardest songs. And she put Reba in tears. And what's that other girl, Gwen Stefani or whatever her name is? Mm -hmm. She was crying too. So our, our little 16-year-old uh, buddy who's uh, been playing since she was nine around mm -hmm. here, up at the Hog Pit and all kinds of places. Yeah, She's going to be up at the uh, Concordia Hall in Staunton on Saturday, but I'm pretty yeah. sure it's sold out. we got we got to get her on, man. Uh -huh. I, I, I haven't talked to her for a couple of years. She was a, seemed like a little girl last time I seen well, her. Well, you know, and, and that's a, a, the part of it. When she's uh, nine, ten years old playing. She's you just know, a little she's, girl. And right. she is uh, homeschooled. Because she's staying pretty busy. I, yeah, she's got yeah, a New bad. Year's Eve gig coming up oh. in Edwardsville. So, uh, yeah, booking agents might want to think about booking Ruby Lee right now because yeah. uh, she's on top the nine. Yeah, she's the voice, and I'm telling you, man, she is killing it on there. So, yeah. if you guys are interested in following local talent, try to tune into the Voice, and uh, they're down to the finals now. So, she really needs our help. Yeah. Also, Whiskey River Band. Our buddies. They're yep. playing at a place called the Workplace in uh, <laughs> okay. Gillespie. So you get off work and you go to the workplace, I guess. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be confused. Honey, where are you at? Uh, the workplace. workplace. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be here late, man. <laughs> yep. That works out, doesn't it? Worked a lot of overtime today. <laughs> <laughs> Pat White at H's Bar in Belle Belle on Saturday and Pigpen. I leave the best. For you. Uh, all right, what do we got here? Yeah, okay, after uh, ages. Okay, drag into the holidays with Ebony Crush, Gloria Good, Andrew Genius, uh, 
Sativa. Uh, yeah, okay, I like that one. Yeah. Sativa, Rave Frost, and Moxie Cotton. <laughs> Moxie Cotton. <laughs> Moxie Cotton. Oh, my God. Uh, that good. one got me. Okay, so, uh, so uh, this is a drag show, and it's going to be at Spaces in Bel- Belleville. Yeah. Uh, $5 in advance, $10 at the door. Uh, and and you get some moxy cotton for that price. So I mean, you know, <laughs> oh, sounds like an all right deal, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, some, and some sativa Ray Frost. You get so, some sativa, some moxy cotton. All for the glory of good. Yeah. And the ebony of crush. <laughs> Uh, so there, there you, you go. go. That is a drag show on Saturday evening. Scruffy looking nerf herder will be up at uh, Lynn Joe's in Pocahontas. Uh, Pocah- starting what? at 8 o'clock, going to 12 a.m. Fry Project, 7 to 11 at Bence's Wine Bar in Chester. Everhart and Light are uh, across the river I think on Fry- Saturday, 8 o'clock at Billy's on Broadway in St. I think St. we got Coast. Fry Project on in two weeks. Yeah. So... We've been talking about him for a while. Finally going to meet him. So there you go. Uh, two weeks from tonight, Fry Project. I'm frying right now. Man. No, I don't even no know. Dude, dude, we already had them on. Oh, we, we recorded them. We haven't played it yet. Okay. So, I, I wasn't going to mention it was pre-recorded. I was, I was trying to confuse him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm easily confused. Earlier he dropped his keys. I thought the phone rang. I didn't know what's happening. Hey, Spanky <laughs> and the gang are, hoping the, are hosting the open mic that's down at uh, Max Time Out now. The one that used to be down there in Wood River. Yeah. Kenny yeah. McPeak has moved it to Max Time Out. Yeah. Uh, I think you then, guys played down there, right? At Martin's Tunes and Eats? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, we yeah. were doing that. Yeah. 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 yeah that, I was, know that. that was a fun one, man. Yeah. I know, Kenny. Yeah. And so then I also uh, part of that crew, uh, uh, Brad Hampton, I just bumped into him uh, the other day. And uh, first thing he said is, hey, come down to Max on Sundays. We're doing open mics. Yeah. So, yeah Brad's uh, in, uh, from Alton, so he's, he's heck down of a there drummer. Uh, helping heck of a Kenny drummer out. Yeah. There. So there you go. Two drummers already. Good ones, too. Yeah. They can play anything. And one of the things I like that they're doing with that open mic uh, is each week they have a different host band. So it's not the same host band. So you kind of, even if you go every week, it's a, sort of a new crew that they're bringing in and, and uh, sort of a new paint job on the whole thing. That's cool. Yeah. Also on Sunday, Nate Sickmeyer, uh, 1 o'clock, Insider 6 o'clock at Fast Eddie's, Danny Callagher up at Grafton Winery from 2 to 6, Scott Marlin doing Big Daddies from 4 to 7, uh, open mic of course at the Stagger Inn, uh, Kevin Gruen at Tucker's Pub from 4 to 7 in Eldred, and uh, of course Experience Live Music Row. Hey, the Philharmonic Society of Bell Bell having their holiday pops concert at 1 o'clock at the Lincoln Theater. Nice. Nice. The Salunatics. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> Hold on. The Salunatics. That. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. It's so simple. It was right in front of my eyes. Oh, that's a good one, man. Schmitty's in Belleville from Tennessee. That, that's the first summer. time I've heard that one. That's okay. Schmitty's in Belleville. The Salunatics. Oh, that's a good one, man. I it says every now and again we come across names that just. Crack me up. I think my favorite, in seven and a half years we've been doing this show, there was a band round for a while called... Uh, Toxic Johnny. Pussycat and Swallowtails <laughs> is the one I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Of. Yeah, we know yeah, them. We know them. Yeah. What, what a... Good that band. name Good. cracked Good. me yep. up. Every, I, every time I said it, I'd chuckle like it was brand new. You mm-hmm. know, like yeah. 15-year-old yeah. schoolgirl on our first high over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. So, yeah, the, but the other name that doesn't make me laugh but gives me chills is Toxic Johnny. Yeah. Also, the Toxic Avenger. Uh, greatest movie ever made. <laughs> uh, Toxic Johnny. Where um, Sherlock's Pub, is that what you're at? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh man, you got it like you say, you got a serious crowd there, man. Like those people are there to hear some music and they they uh I not my kind of crowd. I like the kind of crowd that you can play three chords a little bit. They're like, You rock, yeah, <laughs> you got any merch? <laughs> <laughs> the worst show I ever played in my life and you're asking me if I got merch. <sighs> That is our show. <laughs> <laughs> it's every show. We, we purposely get worse every time just so we can say it's the worst show we've ever done. Uh, now, there you go. So that uh, everyone get out to see Toxic Johnny, even if you don't make it to Charlax Pop Pub. Uh, Dennis was over there reading gigs from now till through January already uh, that Toxic Johnny has booked. Uh, you can find them on Facebook, Toxic Johnny, right? That's right. There mm-hmm. you go. Do you think they're going to have you back at Old Herald doing the open mic next year? We are officially signed on. Nice. Yes, nice. we are officially Good. signed on. We just, uh, and remember I told you when we talked, I said, you know, uh, 
or no, I, uh, I talked to Derek and I said, Hey, we're going to be on the radio with uh, Sean. And he goes, and I said, I just wanted to know what the, you know, what we, what you were thinking. And so we met Monday and locked it all down. Nice. So we will Excellent. definitely be hosting. Nice. And it'll what a cool be, little venue the, they got yeah, now. Yeah, it'll be the first Thursday of, of every month. <clears throat> cool. All right, man. And, yep. and again, I, I, I haven't made it up there to see that venue. He's encouraged, Dennis has encouraged me at, uh, to go check it out. And I, it's always good music, but man, there's always something happening too. Yeah. And, and you know, it's not that long of a drive or anything, but it is like, well, I could see five other you know, things between here and there. And I got six dollars in gas for the thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a beautiful venue. It's yeah. a beautiful outdoor yeah. venue. And what it's a great not my problem. problem, man. I, 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 I've got six dollars, man. I'm just a single girl. What a great to problem to have, though. Too much to do. Oh yeah, too many know, places to go. Yeah, yeah. To, too to many have, bands to see. To have to make the decision. <laughs> okay, I I could see two tonight if I start early. You know. Yeah, yeah it, it is. It is a great problem to have. Even with six pages. bucks, you can find a show. I guarantee there's some free oh, yeah, ones. Yeah, man. Yeah. Six bucks, I can do a lot, man. I've I've lived off the same six dollars for eight years now. I just, <laughs> <laughs> you won't you won't be able to get your favorite hamburger at Baker's and Ale, but you you could probably find a three dollar cheeseburger on the way. Absolutely, up, so, absolutely. So go get a beer. All right. Well, hey, thanks uh, thanks to our friends here, uh, Toxic Johnny. We we've got our old buddy Jimmy G returning to the studios, uh, Mr. Da- uh, Dave Peck. Named after his pecs. A lot of people don't realize that, but he works a lot. He works out more than most. Five days a week, he's in the gym. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Regular old health nut, right? right? Yep. <laughs> he's, he's at the gym parking lot, yeah. sitting on his tailgate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm his, I'm his coach. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the voice of Justin Brooke Brooks. 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 Brooks was here. We're going to yeah. put that right on your chair. Brooks yeah, just, was here. Brooks, yeah. Just like a good bass player, just when you think they're not here, they come up with a riff like that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, just yeah, no. put it to everybody. Okay. Nice job. Yeah, yeah just uh, newstead me. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that, that kind of is the whole thing of a bass player. Yeah. It's like you're listening to music, and sometimes you don't know the bass is there, but take it away, and what the oh, heck yeah. just happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I wasn't even important. paying attention to that. Uh, but you sure miss it when it's gone. Unlike the drums, where the guy could be 10 minutes late, no one even knows. <laughs> okay. he's, he's texting. He don't even care. Like, I'm, I'm busy. I'm on Tinder right now. <laughs> These dating apps never shut down. Swipe left, swipe left, swipe left. Ah, Brad, welcome. Uh, well, thanks for coming down, oh, no and, and uh, no nice to meet you. Even though you know you were 10 minutes late and you checked out 10 minutes early, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Reminds me of my 17 year old son it's fine no, <laughs> it's Speaking always, of late bit pen we're yeah. running a little bit late so uh, uh, yeah, we, we need to yeah we head on wrap out it up. all right everybody hey go out and see toxic johnny check him out on facebook thanks to halpin music company and to matt van Voorst. everybody whatever you're gonna do get out and support local music and art